I went to medical school but realised that it was not for me, so I dropped out and decided to focus on preventive medicine for me. Because having worked in the hospital as a theatre quarter as well, um, going to my father's lab and everything, I could see I didn't want to be on the receiving side of this system, which is a wonderful system if you have an acute issue, like you've broken a leg or had an accident, but not something, uh, a system to use to take care of you when it's things that you can take care of for yourself in the first lifetime. So when most people decide drinking alcohol is a really good idea, I decided to stop at the age of 21. And I'm very strict, you know, my, my pump is uh, like a monk. Um, I was actually ordained a monk in Thailand, although I'm not Buddhist, I don't have a religion. I'm a yogi um, and scientist, I guess, engineer. But self-discipline is the most loving thing you can do to yourself. It's seen as an imposition, but if you really care for yourself, you will develop discipline. Discipline can be anything, like your daily habits of going for a walk or whatever appeals to you, but these are things that appeal to me. So I became a vegetarian, trying to call them vegan. So to me, uh, veganism is really uh, crucially different from vegetarianism, and that's because of dairy. So dairy is designed to fatten up cows. If you look in the mirror in the morning and you see a calf, go ahead and drink cow's milk, but it's not a good idea. It's the most carcinogenic food on the planet, and as well as the, the growth hormones and everything else that the cows are treated with. So that's something I realized very early. For me, I just do the things that appeal to my body. Uh, Ken would probably put me in the hardcore um, category of people going to the six senses. Um, but I have been, I've just been taking things step by step and tuning in, seeing what works for me. So my path is not your path, but maybe some of these things uh, might interest you. Um, I was a chief designer, I worked for Steve Jobs and uh, for four years I worked for Cisco. Uh, and gave up that work in 2002 because I wanted to develop more on, on my uh, feel like healing side. I, I was a yoga therapist, I used to teach in many companies in Silicon Valley, and um, I became a massage therapist at a time I was going to China, to Chiang Mai, Thailand. And then I, I began doing one meal a day. So one meal a day, uh, Ramadan in the uh, Islamic tradition, that actually goes back to the Egyptians, the Greeks, and the Romans. The free men broke their fast at 6 p.m. And in the Taoist club, that is the time at which you are most uh, energetically uh, designed to take food. So, that's what I was doing, and after a month, I felt a lot better. The advantage of one meal a day is I have a 22 hour period for autophagy, which means that I'm recycling the proteins from my cells, the less healthy cells are turned over. If you eat meat, uh, it costs a thousand calories more to digest the meat than I have to spend. So I'm, I'm eating basically salad a day because I'm raw vegan. And uh, a lot of my work is on uh, even my own practice. So I do about three to five hours a day visualization, energy work. And I, I'm always adding to it. I'm adding Egyptian energy work recently. So I'd like to talk to you about a couple of things I use that I found very, very effective. On the plane, this bag, which is an anchor bag from the hill drone in Thailand, it's just the right size to fit the power light, and I have it with a battery. So, here is the power light. The power light is um, 
It's a pulse magnetic and infrared device, and it's super pulsing three frequencies, which are for the three brains in the body. So we have the in brain, the gut microbiota, gut microbiota with the vagus nerve. We have the heart brain, where there are tens of thousands of neurons in, in the heart, which is the wisdom center. And both the vagus nerve and the spinal cord from the yang brain end up in the heart. And the, um, the cerebral brain is what we identify with. That's where our ego resides, and that's where we form identity and projection from the past to the future. So um, this is super pulsing 2 hertz delta, which is a deep sleep frequency delta. It's where you go into your liver and gallbladder time. Uh, it's restorative. The lymphatic system is active. The glial cells shrink. Cerebral spinal fluid flushes out toxins from the brain. It's a very important part of restorative uh, process of the body. Um, eight hertz, well, that's a, so 40 hertz gamma is, is the second one I'll talk about. So 40 hertz gamma is for the thalamus when we're in the flow state, when we're in the present moment, we're outside reactivity. That is uh, shown by uh, many studies and the spin out from MIT uh, that 40 hertz is, is uh, the frequency that's active. Now, the third frequency that I'm using is uh, the Schumann frequency, which is for the heart. So, 8 hertz in the heart balances the whole body. Um, when um, astronauts go, or cosmonauts leave the Earth, they have to go with the Schumann resonance, resonance generator. Our whole system relies on 8 hertz. So that's these. Now I put this in the back of my, um, in my bag uh, when I'm on the plane and I don't get jet lag because I'm being continually entrained into uh, normal rhythmic cycles. So that's one thing. And then the second thing I'm going to talk about is stem cell ginseng. So let's move on. So in movement, um, this is a station of kind I use and a vibrating platform which goes up and down. Um, I'm using movement every day and um, all my meditation is active. That just suits me. I like to be moving my body, it helps the lymph flow, it integrates my mind and my thinking into my body, and integrates yin and yang. So, I do high intensity interval training, and I'm doing a lot of breathing work, pranayama. So, the high intensity interval training is that, for me, the most uh, challenging thing. I hold my breath for 60 seconds, cycling as best as I can on the on that stationary summit bike. That's a whole metric stress. When you hold your breath while you're exercising, you get far more effect. So I don't want to be spending two hours in the gym. All of this is done in in a minute. And I do two things. Uh, I, I uh, do that and then I do rapid breathing. That's Kapalabhati in yoga. It's alternate nostril breathing. And uh, it really helps you make your good blood. So I'm cycling very fast doing that. Now, I use uh, my water ring. Aura rings are, uh, to me, the best wearable, or the only wearable I'm really interested in, to be honest. Um, it, it was just introduced, it's a Finnish company just introduced last year, but I get 24 hours a day monitoring of my sleep, my activity. It's got an accelerometer, it measures heart rate, and um, it's very good for, for 
watching your activity in your sleep. And you see that my patterns every day, that's why I'm doing my practice in the morning, that big spine. And, you know, I'm getting an average of 14,000 steps, even though I'm not going out for a run or anything like that. I, I walk down my driveway and back uh, to open the gate in the morning with the sun up, and that's half a kilometer just to start off with. So one, one really valuable thing about this ring is that it's in airplane mode. So every three to five days, I put it on the stand and I can upload it. It's on, there's an app that goes with it and then it's available on the cloud. So I can really monitor what's going on. And here's my heart rate recovery after doing that uh, high intensity uh, cycling, holding my breath, the whole my breath. So this recovery time uh, rate of, you can see 86, um, oh, 80, 80 feet per minute in 90 seconds. That's actually better than a 20 year old. But I'm not training. I'm just doing this as part of my daily practice. And that's very consistent. So I find I'm building up resilience. And that works for me. Whatever works for you is whatever works for you. But I'm just showing you that these things are, are actually measurable. So here we'll be talking more about how the parallel works. I mentioned the three dantians and the brainwave frequencies that I'm super pulsing, in other words, pulse together, and I'm in train. The brain loves to follow frequencies. It, it's, as I was shown in the 70s and 80s, in training it's very easy. The difficulty is when the uh, impulse is taken away, then the brain will go back to its normal state. So by repetitive training every day, I'm now integrating this into my system. So I'm normally in much more of a flow state and non-reactive than I would be um, if I wasn't doing it. And I'm actually, because I'm the guinea pig, so you're always, uh, in Silicon Valley, we always used to talk about you have to eat your own dog food. So if you, like working at Cisco, we had the worst network on the planet because the latest version of the networking software was always given to us, the engineers. So the same thing here, right? I've been doing this, the, the Paralyte, I've been using it daily for about 12 hours a day. When I'm on the computer, I have it behind my back. It's very calming. So, Normally, where you, you, it's very easy to get uh, out of yourself and into reactive mode when you're answering emails and dealing with stuff. And I, you know, I run my business from China, in Thailand, from China. I'm dealing with customers all over the world. You know, I ship them out by DHL. I do all this stuff myself. And um, Fifi uh, has one of the power lines, and. She says that she, it helps her meditate, and that's really wonderful. Um, other people have found the same as me, but they don't have jet lag. Like, I, can, I flew one time from Canada to Chiang Mai, four flights, 35 hours, zero jet lag. This year I was at the Conscious Living Expo in LA, flew in Thursday night, worked on the booth, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, flew out Sunday night, I saw probably 200 people. It was really quite intense. Um, and no gender. So to me, that's very valuable. I flew in last night from Chiang Mai, slept normally. So I think that's a good thing because I'm continually keeping myself in my circadian rhythm while I'm traveling. Next up is Jin Sang. Well, I'm friends with the CEO of the company who makes this. Um, I'm telling you about it because it's actually the most remarkable adaptogen that I know of. In China, ginseng is well known as a male adaptogen. But Dr. Lee of this company, Anwar, she's the first person to ever successfully made stem cells from the root tips and she took a 50-year-old high mountain Korean ginseng plant. 
Well, nowadays you can't even find them. I mean, they're extremely rare, uh, even then. And she's kept these stem cells alive uh, for 10 years, and this is what this comes from. So there are 200 papers uh, about anti-aging and cancer with ginseng, the rare ginseng sites. So like me, stressing myself hormetically by riding my bike really fast, um, hormesis is essential for building resilience. In other words, healthy stress, it improves the quality and quantity of mitochondria. You are your battery pack. Try running your phone without a battery that, that runs well. You can't do it. So the mitochondria are key, the underlying key to our wellness. And you're gifted with great mitochondria when you're born. The trick is to keep them active. And if you have a good energy level, you can have a good immune system, you can repair, and then if you're sensible, you make healthy choices based on who you are that reinforce that. So um, this uh, ginseng was published in Nature magazine, I think about five years ago, uh, Edinburgh University did the studies with them, and I'll just show you quickly some of the effects. So UV anti-aging, um, anti-cancer activity, blood glucose regulation, and you can see this chart showing that the blood glucose goes down with your symptom. And, and you know, my eating one meal a day, I'm never ever hungry for the last 15 years. I'm never hungry. I, I don't go into cravings. My sugar is very constant. And often if I'm flying, I'll have to wait 30 hours between meals if I'm flying in the wrong direction. And, and quite often I'll do, like every few years or so, I'll do like a five day fast. Um, blood circulation, extremely important. When you're young, in the young girl, arteries are clear, inflammation comes along, the arteries are protected with calcium laid down, and then uh, lipids build up, cholesterol builds up, and you get arterial occlusion, which leads to heart disease and an unfortunate death. So ginseng comes from that, and also cancer cell and division. And actually they did a, when I went to visit the factory, they did a great uh, demo for me. They took ginseng that had been taken from a plant, a good plant, but they discarded it to try and get some ginseng aside from it, and put it in a factory dish, and they put the mesocambial cells that they'd grown, put hydrogen peroxide on. One, the, the one for, uh, that's a normal ginseng didn't react at all, the other one was bubbling very actively. Uh, you can see the uh, video if you want on my website, Stem Cell Ginseng. So, what happened to me? Uh, well, I decided I get some evidence, and I went and had some blood tests. So, my testosterone uh, went up to 1400 for testosterone, which is double the maximum of a 20 year old. Um, and so uh, here's my TSA, my TSA levels, which are low. And that's a problem if you have high testosterone and high TSA, but in my case, they were both doing well. Um, this is my testosterone after two years. Now I cycle on and off. With ginseng, you, you, um, it's a yang chi tonic. You don't want to be taking it non-stop. Uh, for women, uh, you can take this just six six of these for a month, and that helps with periods because testosterone is a precursor to estrogen, and but it has a role in women just like estrogen has a role for men. Um, so you can see my level, you know, I had to boost up 1400 minus, but it's still well over the 800 minus that a 20 year old was now. And my PSA was still doing fine after two years, and my thyroid hormones. So, what do I eat? Well, <laughs> I eat the things that make sense to me, 
I'm an engineer, and I like uh, to test things on myself. I'm always experimenting. Uh, I have found that for plant-based nutrition uh, works very well for me. Uh, all the blue zones have plant-based, grown plant-based uh, diets. These are the places where people live to over 100 years, like in Okinawa. <coughs> Uh, <clears throat> if you are taking animal products, the problem is that uh, the proteins are similar to human proteins. Plant-based proteins are quite different, so the body breaks them down. And actually what I'm doing is I'm not feeding myself, I'm feeding my microbiota. That's what I care about. Because my microbiota generate many uh, micronutrients for my body. And if they're happy, I'm happy. Um, so I, I focus on alkaline forming foods. Obviously, we're going to maintain a pH of around 7.4. The problem is if you're drinking milk, which is an acid forming fill food, you leach calcium from the bones to maintain that pH. So, same with me. If you do that, you get osteoporosis. Uh, Asian countries are not uh, traditionally meat drinking. When Asian countries like Thailand now and Japan actually after World War II started drinking milk, osteoporosis came. So, you know, for me that's just logic. I'm not interested in taking things in the different family which don't need. And um, so a lot of the salt requirement that I'm eating, you know, I just eat good to take like one salad a day and uh, nuts and things like that. I'm actually now because I'm not drinking refined oils, taking refined oils, uh, because the less processed food we take and I'm using hydrogen water, I actually got hydrogen water maker upstairs. Um, the paralyte structures water magnetically Structured water is the only water that's absorbed by the cells, so you can drink water all day long, 8 litres a day if you want, and you'll pee it out. What you're doing is you're demineralizing yourself, but you're not actually hydrating the cells. The mitochondria is part of the Krebs cycle, that's a hydrogen water wheel, is a way of describing it, during the uh, Oxfos, the um, oxidative phosphorylation ATP ATP cycle. During that time, you, you're generating actually a number of liters, two liters of structured water inside the body from healthy mitochondria. If your mitochondria is sick, or you have, um, you know, your, your body is in reactive mode, mitochondria change shape, they are not doing this. You then go into cancer because you're no longer able to use oxygen to create energy. So, I take in structured water, so I put water on top of my paralyte. Uh, actually, I have a number of paralytes in my healing center. Now, the water in the underground tanks outside is structured. And you can taste it because it's salt. Structured water is salt. Okay, I've talked about that one, which we have some many more, uh, much greater detail, but. Um, grounding and uh, mitochondrial regulation. Niacin is one of my favorite things. So niacin was used uh, for mental health 60 years ago. It's very inexpensive, which is why it's not popular with doctors, but extremely effective. And one of my favorite stories is uh, there was a schizophrenic girl who was 16, and her parents had heard about niacin so that uh, her parents put her on niacin. So niacin is a vasodilator. It brings, uh, that's why it works very well with the brain. When I, when I take niacin, and I'll make a dose, you know, like three grams a day, and I go on my bicycle, I can literally ride my bicycle 30% faster. So initially you get a flush, uh, but my body doesn't flush now. The flush is the capillaries opening up. Um, 
And he with this girl, what she did was she was so angry with her parents, like teenagers get. Uh, she decided to OD and kill herself with knives, and so she took an entire 60 gram bottle of knives and then took it. The only side effect was the voices she was hearing went away. That's a very remarkable uh, outcome for something very, very simple, which is do you also know your brain or not? That's something I've been doing recently. So here's my nice and uh, I work on my skin a lot, so I'm using coconut oil. I use ginseng. Uh, actually, I shake with my ginseng cacao, but uh, I make all my own products for my skin because uh, nutrition comes in through the skin as well. I make a blue lotus flower oil, for example, and um, because I'm a massage therapist, I do get self-massage, so the fatty brain is very important, and many other energetic styles. This is the um, light sauna that I've made. Uh, I'm covering all the, all the frequencies. I've actually got one in there. So um, I'm covering all frequencies and um, I do breathing in there and I'm sweating, so that's detoxing. So here's how I use Oolong tea. I make a, um, a drink which is an adaptogenic drink which I brew for a long time. Uh, like actually, I leave it for a week and I drink it every day. And then my sleep hygiene, so these are very obvious things. Uh, going through the circadian rhythm, knowing that I sleep in a, a wooden hut on the floor in a Japanese futon, no emails. And then this is what the aura ring says about my sleep and my heart rate variability, so I can monitor that from while I'm sleeping. And uh, I, I sleep with a fire light. So there we are. I have three seconds left before I'm out of time. So thank you very much. Okay, here we go. She was more like a beauty queen in a ruby scene. I said, no matter what do you mean? I am the one who dances on the floor and around. She told me her name was Billie Jean. She made a scene. Every pattern without the dream of being the one who could dance on the floor in the round. People always so and be careful what you do. Don't go around bringing young girls eyes. A mother always so and be careful who you love. Be careful what you do because a lie becomes the truth. And Billy Jean is not my just because he said that I am the one, but the kid is not like not my love.
。下一首冠军是你。Look at me, I'm an helpless as a kitten, and I feel like I'm swinging on a cloud. I just can't understand. I get misty just holding your hand. The sound of your hello, that music I hear, I get misty when you're near. You can say that you're leading me on, but it's just what I want you to do. Don't you notice how hopelessly I'm alive? That's why I'm following you. Oh, they come. 
Thank you. 